everybody. Uh, thank you for coming to the booth of the Uni uh, Tokyo University of Ag Agriculture and Technology, TUAT. And we are glad you're here and we really want to have you to make our uh, multicultural uh, educational situation to enforce our understanding. And uh, also we are very well known as a research institution so that uh, we have a lot of very talented graduate student who is uh, Japanese and also international background. Okay, so today we have five members from the faculty and let us introduce briefly about us. And for me, uh, I'm, my name is Yukiko Horikiri in charge of the international coordination, which is inbound and outbound. Okay, so would you please, uh, Noma Sensei, would you please do that? Minasan, uh, konnichiwa. My name is Tatsu Noma. I'm the uh, so called chief coordinator of this program, of the programs. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, Yokomori Sensei. Hi, everyone, uh, everybody. Uh, this is Kayo Yokomori. Uh, I'm also international coordinator at Faculty of Agriculture. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And Tasaki Sensei, please. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Tasaki at school. Um, I'm in charge of the intercultural communication uh, education for both the international and the Japanese students. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the uh, last, Hongo Sensei, please. My name is Hongo. I teach Japanese to international students. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. So we are going to answer as much as possible of your questions after uh, we introduce our university. And firstly, we would like to share the short video of the introduction of our university, which is about 13 minutes. And after that, we would like to open the Q&A session. So please uh, watch it first, and we are welcome any questions from you after that. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology is a national university located in Tokyo. There are two campuses. The Faculty of Agriculture is located in Fuchu, and the Faculty of Engineering is located in Kogane, both within a 30-minute train ride from the city centre. The university has a long history of around 150 years. In 1874, two educational institutions focusing on agricultural studies and silk textile studies were established. Then, in 1949, they joined to form the Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology as it exists today. The vision of the university is of a world-leading research university based on science and which maximizes human value, both intellectually and socially. Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology has a number of educational programs, including bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. As the university's name implies, the undergraduate school has two programs, that is the Faculty of Agriculture and the Faculty of Engineering, while at the graduate school, there exists a wide variety of programs. The number of students at Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology is about 6,000, of which two thirds are undergraduate students and the rest are graduate students. International students make up about 6 to 7% of the total population. The number of faculty and staff is about 600, making the ratio of staff to students one of the highest among Japanese universities. There are many international students from Asian countries. Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology is focused on student exchange programs and international joint research and currently has 162 sister schools. This likely includes a university or universities in your home country. Now to introduce the kind of education you will receive after entering university. 
the so-called wedge-shaped educational program gradually increases the number of specialized subjects as you progress through each grade. In the fourth grade, graduation research will be conducted for one year. After graduation, more than 70% of students go on to a graduate school master's course and about one fifth go on to a doctoral course two years later. Next, I will explain the undergraduate program. At the Faculty of Agriculture, there are five departments. These are the departments of biological production, applied biological science, environmental and natural resource sciences, ecoregion science, and veterinary medicine. In the Department of Biological Production, students will study every aspect of agriculture, aiming to take charge of food production that will continue to support humankind far into the future. Agricultural production also plays an important role in environmental conservation and is expected to be a source of renewable biomass energy. The Department of Applied Biological Science examines the unknown possibilities of life, helping students understand and apply a series of phenomena from molecules to cells, individuals and their interactions, and based on chemistry and biology. We are conducting research with the aim of contributing to the development of life sciences in a way that is beneficial to humankind. In the Department of Environmental and Natural Resource Sciences, students will study earth science, which is based on biology, chemistry, physics, geology, and mathematics, and which applies the rigors of science to the problems of environment and resources. Students will contribute to solving environmental problems and building a recycling-oriented society through research on the environment around us, from the macro world at a global level, to the micro world, at the microbial and molecular levels. In the Department of Ecoregion Science, we regard all spaces, including forests, rural areas and cities, as one interconnected area, and develop new research focusing on the ecosystems, production and societies that develop there. Students will take on the challenge of designing a local environmental space where the natural environment and the production activities of human society coexist. At the Cooperative Department of Veterinary Medicine, we are deeply involved in human health, mental well-being and the living environment by improving the health and welfare of companion animals and the protection of wild animals. We are contributing to the advancement of life science through the research, treatment and prevention of animal diseases. Next is the Faculty of Engineering. There are six departments. These are the Departments of Biotechnology and Life Science, Biomedical Engineering, Applied Chemistry, Applied Physics and Chemical Engineering, Mechanical Systems Engineering, and electrical engineering and computer science. In the Department of Biotechnology and Life Science, we create various new industries in areas such as medical devices and medical materials, food and pharmaceuticals, environment and energy, and all based on knowledge obtained from many research areas from the molecular and genetic level to living individuals. In the Department of Biomedical Engineering, students will understand various biological functions at the organ, cell, gene, molecular and atomic level, and create innovative measurement and analysis technologies that contribute to medical use. We aim to train researchers and engineers to lead the international community in education and research by applying the principles of engineering and based on the needs of diagnosis in the field of medicine. In the Department of Applied Chemistry, lectures, experiments oh, yeah, and research 
are conducted to the structure and function of chemical substances at a wide range of scales, from atoms to polymers. You will learn everything from the basics to advanced applications of chemistry and material science. You will acquire research and development capabilities that allow you to play an active role in the fields of chemistry and material science, working at the boundaries and points of fusion between chemistry and the environment, food and medicine. The Department of Applied Physics and Chemical Engineering covers a wide range of fields such as chemistry, physics, electricity and mechanical systems, centering on the three axes of energy, new materials and the environment. You will systematically study basic chemistry, mechanics, thermodynamics, electromagnetism, quantum mechanics and numerical analysis, as well as taking two courses of chemical engineering and physical engineering and a group of AXIS subjects in order to deepen your speciality. The Department of Mechanical Systems Engineering covers a wide range of mechanical fields centered on the three axes of smart mobility, digital manufacturing, and robotics and nanomechanics. Students will systematically study basic mechanics, control, numerical analysis, programming, materials, design, processing, and measurement electronics, and deepen each speciality in either of two courses, aerospace and mechanical science, or robotics and intelligent mechanical design. At the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, you will acquire the basics of information engineering, such as computer design and programming, and electrical and electronic engineering. You can also learn about the latest data processing technologies and artificial intelligence. Regarding the entrance examination for the Faculty of Agriculture and the Faculty of Engineering, you are requested to take the EJU. In addition, there will be an interview test at Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology, and selection will be made based on students' overall scores. At the graduate schools, there are masters and doctoral programs. There are schools that are similar to the departments of each faculty, but there are also schools in which students can major in a fusion of agricultural engineering and more interdisciplinary fields. Regarding admission to the graduate school, let's take a master's degree from the Faculty of Engineering as an example. You have the opportunity to apply twice a year. The first opportunity is the August entrance exam. The entrance exam can be taken in either English or Japanese. The second opportunity is the January entrance exam. To take this exam, you must be a research student at Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. Support for international students is substantial. EAGL provides a one-stop service for international students. Additionally, there is an international student dormitory on campus, and the Japanese language education program is also comprehensive. There are several scholarship programs available for international students. Before enrollment, you can apply for the Japanese government-sponsored International Student Scholarship. After enrollment, you can apply to a variety of programs based on your major and country of origin. Students at Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology are academically very active. From graduation research to graduate school research, many students have achieved excellent results and have received awards. Students are active not only in learning and research, but also in club activities. The Robot Club and the Equestrian Club are perhaps the most well known. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope to see you at Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology sometime soon.
Okay, thank you for watching the video of our uh, introduction of TUAT. And while we're watching the movie, we have received one question from the chat. And the question is about uh, the person who is living in Japan who already got the doctoral uh, PhD of in engineering in Japan and the uh, Bachelor of Science and Master degree is in agriculture and could he or she can take again the doctoral program in agriculture and any company support the scholarship? Is that a question or the fact? I'm not sure, but uh, if you can explain about this a little bit more, if you if we still have Ahmad Sang, are you there? Hello, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Thank you uh, for the question. Yes, could you please explain that again? Actually, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I got my doctorate in civil engineering, but my career, uh, I have a uh, 15 years uh, experience in agriculture and my master and my uh, BEC was in agriculture. But unfortunately, the situation of Afghanistan was not bad, a uh, good. So when I applied for, uh, 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 for doctorate, uh, my professor accepted me and he said, if you it came to civil engineering, uh, I will accept you. But the deadline was almost closed. So that's why I accept civil engineering. And last year I graduated uh, uh, from Yukama University. And, uh, uh, but uh, uh, I tried to find a job in Japan because my career and my background was different. I couldn't find any job in uh, uh, civil engineering, uh, so that's why uh, uh, I'm trying to uh, find some another scholarship in agriculture. Could you let me know? Uh, but uh, as you know, uh, I'm uh, more uh, uh, 48 years old. Maybe it will be difficult for me or not uh, to find a scholarship. Oh. Okay, so you haven't gotten the scholarship yet and you would like to know the possibility of getting the yes, degree the here yes. and yeah. also the possibility of the scholarship. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, uh, Noma Sensei in this case. Well, there are several scholarships available for international students in Japan, but however, the, uh, for the Japanese government scholarship, there is a limit for the uh, age. I think it's about uh, under 40. And for the uh, other private um, scholarship, it's only available after your enrollment. I'm not sure, but most of those are for a um, little bit young stu younger students. And um, I don't have, I've never, I have no idea about uh, for. 48 years old student. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your question. And Noma Sensei, arigatou gozaimasu. I have a question. Okay, please. Uh, not enough information was provided regarding admission procedure of PhD program in like electrical engineering, uh, do we have to contact the potential supervisor directly or uh, is this the same procedure like uh, some application uh, to the university? Mm, not enough information was provided. So can you please explain the P ex uh, procedure for PhD program? PhD program. Okay, I can manage. Uh, you are plan to go to the uh, engineering side. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, the official admission uh, procedure is uh, is shown in our website, but uh, I can go through. But uh, the most important point is find a supervisor in our university. Okay. So one of the one of the, my suggestion is uh, try to go through our website and find a supervisor okay. and send your information and 
contact him or her, the professor in our university. Okay. okay thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. And we are receiving lots of lots of questions through the chat system. And uh, if I follow it, oof, I wanted to ask if you offer full English course for undergrad students. And this one about the language, uh, we have some courses of English teaching class, but the mainly it's a master course or the PhD course. So under uh lessons, I mean, the courses is mainly conducted in Japanese so that students are supposed to take uh, Japanese uh lectures and also we offer several japanese lessons from hongo sensei can you a little bit explain about the language support okay um regarding japanese language classes you can take classes depending on your level but as um Huriki sensei said if you are undergrad Actually, we require students to have a JLPT and one level because you know the, all the classes basically are provided in Japanese. Um, is this okay to you? It, do you have any other questions? Hi, this is Mahira from India. I just want to ask that uh, what if we don't know Japanese? Would that be okay if we take Japanese classes uh, after we apply for the courses and we select it? So, after we've enrolled ourselves in the courses. So, would that be okay if we take the classes in Japan itself? I'm sorry, the, the environment of the audio is not that good but let me clarify so your question would be is it possible to take japanese course first and then uh, join to the regular course is that your question um not exactly that okay. uh, i'll try to clarify my question i wanted to ask that uh, like i have tried to learn japanese but right now i am enrolled in my last year of high school so my main focus is on clearing my high school and then getting an admission in some good college. So I just wanted to ask that if I am eager to join the university and I have no time right now like to enroll myself into Japanese classes, so would that be okay if I get into a course in Japanese university and then I start learning Japanese there itself? Uh, okay, so you want to join the class first and at the same time or after that, uh, is it possible to learn Japanese? Yes, exactly. Okay, so if you are under glad, that could be a little bit difficult because we don't offer the class in English. So firstly, you have to know, uh, you have to understand in Japanese. But but if you are a master course or the PhD course you, you want to apply, then if you choose the international course, uh, maybe that's possible and you could learn Japanese lessons uh, a lot, uh, along with their, your main uh, study. Am I answering your question? Um, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And what will be the schedule of admission for April 2022 intake master entrance exam? Uh, the date of the master course ex entrance, you mean? Is there anyone who... Yeah, not? actually, I wanted to know about the master's course. The schedule. I think usually in Japanese universities, there are two schedules. One is August, one is February, right? So I was wondering that for... April 2022 is February. Uh, I mean, for international students, if there is a, a separate schedule. Okay, so it uh, we have two different faculty, and also the undergrad uh, master course have uh, individual schedule for the entrance exam. So, uh, would you somebody uh, the faculty member? Would you please find the site? Okay. Uh <laughs> Well, first of all, which uh, area are you interested in agriculture or are you interested in engineering? Uh, in agriculture. Agriculture. 
Um, there are several entrance examinations for the master program in the uh, faculty or the School of Agriculture. And um, it, it has just started from August, end of August. And there was a first selection, including Japanese students and international students. But um, there are several uh, phase two, phase three examination scheduled in uh, September or November, and sometimes in February. So um, if you can, if you uh, can, well, uh, send some information to the uh, ad admission office, maybe they can manage. Okay, I will send an query to the admission office or if it's available yeah. in the website. Oh yeah, this one, thank you. Is this somewhere in the website? Mm -hmm. Please go to the website. Yeah, uh, this is the admission schedule for the year to so for next year, April. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. If this is available in the website, then mm -hmm. uh, if you could share the link, it would be very helpful. If okay. not, then I'll take this screenshot. Okay. I will do it later. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the question and also the answer. Noma Sensei and Yokomori Sensei. And yeah, let's follow the next question from the chat would be yeah we have money thank you very much uh, po, 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 po. Mm. Mm. okay so yeah uh, i'm currently second grade in korea university is there any program i can be third grade of tuat i think this is the transfer question if you were there. Yes, right. It's about transfer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Transferring school. <clears throat> so uh, and you are you have finished your second year there. And also do you want to transfer for the third year and uh, study in Japanese? Yes. And can you understand the contents and the participate the class in Japanese, you think? Um you have learned Japanese? Yes, a little bit, but um, I have to study more because I only have, currently I have JLPT N3. N3. I, I think I need N2 to study in Japan. Yes, Hongo Sensei, any advice for this case? Uh, what, which field are you in? Um, I'm currently studying um, Food technology, and I can't find any any major in TU eighteen about food food science or food technology. Mm. Uh, we do have a department who you can learn food technology or food science. But uh, it's again, it's all in Japanese. All courses are conducted in Japanese, and we require the international students to have JLPT N1 to follow the contents and uh, do the things to grad to get the degree. So maybe it may be too soon for you to get ready to become the third year of DOAT student, so that the the nearest chance for you could be you entering the master course so that you can study the food technology or food science uh, in master course. And it, we also offer some courses in English and Japanese. So I think that's that's the nearest uh, goal could be. What do you oh, okay, think? Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, thank you very much. Do, do I need EJU for the transfer, transferring? Uh, if you get enter the master course, it's not transferring, you're entering the master uh, degree. So you would you you may want to check the uh, documentation and the what kind of scores that you need from your university. 
please check it from the website. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And the next one, uh, the deadline thing is the uh, same as before. And the uh, person who wrote this was, uh, okay, the person is uh, doing the final year of undergrad and uh, interested in learning in graduate school. And if I'm searching a supervisor for applying mixed scholarships, should I contact the professor's directory or Office of International Affairs first? And in this case, uh, I think it's better for you to contact the professor and to uh, get their acceptance of him or her, then knows the procedure, uh, how to do apply the max scholarship. And uh, faculty member, if there are any follow or additional information? Yes, uh, her um, suggestion is correct that um, the best way is to first contact our supervisor and, uh, and get the acceptance. Well, if, and then you can go to the uh, next stage admission and uh, apply for the scholarship. So please contact our supervisor as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Okay, so next uh, is I'm already studying a career uh, career in my country and I'm in the third semester. Is there any way that I can apply for an exchange for one or two semester? I'm studying chemistry engineer. And this person we cannot identify as this the third semester of undergrad or the master course. Uh, I think I'm an undergraduate. I'm from Mexico, so I don't know if it's the same year under. Okay, thank you. And for the exchange program, we do offer, and uh, but this is for the third grade students, and you need uh, one semester preparation. So you have to apply one semester before of the exchange program because we need to do the procedure to acceptance and also uh, applying the COE and also that kind of administrative stuff. So uh, if you are already a third semester, uh, third semester is the second year of your... Uh, yeah, it's the second year. Okay. And if you are in the... Uh, but no, this exchange program is only for the partner university. So if you are uh, university in Mexico, we don't offer undergrad exchange program with uh, Mexico's university, I think. So there is no exchange undergrad program. Uh, there is se ah. several uh, sister universities in Mexico. Yes. So, but um, if you want to be exchange student at, at our university, you have to be a regular student. Regular student are in uh, our sister university. That is the minimum requirement. Right. So, so please check with the university that uh, your university has a list of uh, the sister, I mean, partner university and TU8 is included. Then you have a possibility. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And I want apply. I want to apply for a PhD. There are a list of field of research in biotechnology or computer science. Uh, the list of the field of research. I think if you uh, check their our website, TUAT, and this, uh, Faculty of Engineering, I think the English website is also there, and uh, I think you will find it. And if you cannot find it, please. Uh, contact to the uh, department there's if there's a contact address there that's what we can offer right now because um, if if you want, want to know more information please uh, speak it out right now okay so okay thank you this is the list of uh, master course 
of the Faculty of Engineering. So this is a list, and basically these professors are in the program of master course and a PhD course usually. So please check those lists from, this is from the website, Yokomori Sensei, am I right? That's right. I, I will touch that this website uh, on the chat part. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is the answer for the last one and <laughs> it's coming a lot. Uh, 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 uh. And eat there. Oh, good afternoon. Yes, okay. And to contact the professor, is there E email listed on the website. Usually, uh, our faculty member have a site, and it's linked from our website, TUAD official website. So, if you go to the page of each professor, they must be on a university email so that you can contact with the professor if you want to find your uh, advisor. Yes, and. I want to apply for a PhD. There's a, uh, to contact the professor, there's an email listed. There any other scholarship for undergrad student rather than mixed? Rather than mixed. It depends on which country and which interest and which program you're in. Any, can you add some more information or? Uh, I'm from India and mm -hmm. I want to apply in biological sciences. And you are undergrad student? Yeah, I want to apply for undergrad school. Okay, so for undergrad student, you again, you have to understand that Japanese lectures in Japanese. Do you think that's that could help? Yeah, I'm learning. I have completed my N5 doing N4 these days. So do you have N1 level Japanese, you think? Not yet. <laughs> okay, so that you have to be qualified to become a DOAD international student if you are under GLAD. So since we offered mostly Japanese classes, it's, uh, it's not so much opportunity for you to get scholarship to be an official student of uh, underglad, I think. And for the master course, the situation is a little bit different. Yep, and the mixed, mixed scholarship is a very big one and a famous one, as you already know. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. And the master in computer science available in English? Computer science master course. Uh, no man said yes, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, we uh, in the uh, faculty of engineering, we have a uh, for the master programs, we have a uh, international course, and all lectures and instructions are given in English. So if you enter that program, it should be okay for you. Thank you very much. Okay, if you have any additional question, please uh, speak it out if possible. Okay, thank you. Yep, this is the list. And this is also from the website. Yes, is it, this is also from the uh, website of uh, the uh, entrance uh, admission. Uh, the graduate school of engineering. So, for your information, thank you very much. If you're interested in, please screenshot so that you can see the link, the mm -hmm. website link. Yes, thank you very much. And let's go back. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I found in the web page that、uh, Faculty of Engineering section, there is、uh, two links, one for the Department of Biotechnology and Life Science, and the other one, Department of Biotechnology and Life Science, established in 1920,、uh, 2019. Are there any differences between them? Yes,、uh, we have、uh, changed the name and we We established the new name of、uh, department in 2019, which is two years ago. So now we have the third grade student already do the new curriculum. And if you're interested in e n t e r the TUAD University undergrad, so please follow the new one. The old name of the department is only for our fourth grade students. So after they graduated, We will just make the new、uh, system itself only. Okay. And may I know any site that d i s p l a y current research p r o j e c t ongoing for agriculture field or engineer field or everything? Can you specify a little bit if you want to know? Uh, okay, so if you still want to know, please get back to us again. And、uh, okay, are there any fast track program for master plus doctoral degree? So, k i s u t s u Or the combination of、uh, master and doctor? I don't think we do have it as a regular course. It could apply to some special case, but we don't offer the fast course from TOAT as a regular, regular course, I think. Am I right? Anyone? Okay, thank you. And if there are masters in animation in English language, we have an animation. Animation. <laughs> animation.、Uh, we are not the art <laughs> university. So if you focus on the technology, we do have our、uh, AI, artificial. Intelligence or the computer science, but we don't focus only on the animation. And、uh, in English, as we have explained, we offer international c o u r s e for the master courses. So please、uh, again check the website so that you may find the one that you may, it, it may interest you. In you. And I have searched about agriculture business for graduate school, and Tokyo University of Foreign Studies has this program in your agriculture faculty. I want to ask if the lesson using full Japanese language or English language, then if it would be okay for me to contact lecture first about my research thesis.、Hmm? Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. We have a partnership and we do exchange several programs each other as a、uh, official credit, but the course itself is individual, so we don't have a joint degree with the Tokyo University of Foreign Studies so far. So you may have a chance to take a class or course of Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. But you will not take the program or course if you belong s to TUAT, Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology. I'm not sure if I an answer your questions correctly, but yep. And、uh, again, Underglad is in Japanese and、uh, Master Course PC course. There, we offer international programs so that you can take and you can get a degree. Uh, is there a master's in animation in English language? <laughs> no, we don't have. Okay, not, not in animation itself, but it, it could 
be the technology of some computer science. Okay, and I am interested in applied chemistry graduate school, but the website is not in English. Where do I get the information in English? So when you go to the website of TUAT, there's an English website there. Then please uh, go there, uh, go from there. So that it will lead to the page that you may want to go. So when you go in Japanese and you cannot convert in the middle of the English, some page is not only in Japanese, but if you start from the English website, you may get reach there. And if there are any course related human genetics for undergrads, human genetics. Noma sensei, we don't think we have. Mm. We don't have a, any medical school, so there is no mm -hmm. such field. Okay, thank you very much. And are there any high school scholarships? Hmm? Hmm? We are not high school. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. So, yeah, very simple question, but the simple answer, no. And if I will to study PhD course, I must study research student six months or one year before to study PhD program. Oh. It's not the necessary thing. So some student just get straight from to the PhD course. Depends on the schedule and depends on the, the research ability and depends on the coordination with the advisor, academic advisor. So as we have said uh, previously, the first thing is to contact with the academic advisor who could, uh, who could accept you as a student, a PhD student. So then uh, uh, make a schedule from when and how to start the program, I think. And masters in computer science available in English? Computer science. I think yes, no more sense. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a international programs fully given in English. So in that course, you can take specialize in computer science. No problem. Thank you very much. And are there any undergraduate scholarships? Okay, three questions. <laughs> yep. Uh, there is some scholarships, but we don't provide it. So this is a scholarship, please go offer. So we have a, a list of scholarship once you get entered to our university. And it depends on which country you are or which uh, field of study you are or which background you have. So we have no specialized scholarship from the university directory for the undergrad student. But we also do some uh, covered of a discount of the uh, tuition if you are qualified of the conditions. So it's not a scholarship, but you can, you can have some uh, money back of the tuition if you meet the requirements. And it's also after the selection, so not all of you. And if there are any scholarship for master course, it's also the same situation. So once you get enter, you may have some chance or the list if it's available. And also we don't uh, prohibit you to get the scholarship from your own country or the private company. And if you need some uh, document from the university, we can support it. Okay. Are there any undergrad scholarship? Are there any undergrad scholarship? <laughs> when contacting a professor for a master program, what do we need to include the email? This is very general answer, but you have to explain about yourself, your background, <laughs> your nationality, and what do you want to study? And yeah, your Japanese ability so that you can uh, communicate with the professor. And if there's some specific information that the professor need, then please continue the exchange of emails. Okay. And so if I want to take the undergrad course, I need at least JLPT1. Yes, Kongo-sensei. 
Actually, uh, we don't require students to submit the certificate of JLPT one in one. So, but to understand the you know the lecture content, you need that level of Japanese. But as long as you pass the Nihon Ryugaku Shiken uh, EJU, I think you'll be able to you know join the regular class course. So, but you know, as a kind of guideline, we are always saying that. Is this okay? It, it, am I answering the questions to you? I hope so. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ongo Sensei. And share link for admission master in engineering. <laughs> okay, please check the uh, chat later. We will forward. <sighs> Is TUAG have masters in artificial intelligence? Yes, we do offer. Yes. And Saria want to enroll to as a master's student in computer science as a max scholarship from Japan Embassy. Uh, Persian from Middle East. In my country before coming to Japan and then become a regular degree student and take the exam in your university in Japan, maybe as a non-degree student, if possible, is my assumption correct? And also I have, uh, how many recommendation letters from professor do I need? Since as you know, it, it's hard to get recommendation from letter from professors. It's very long question, but we understand you want to get into the master course and want to get a mixed scholarship. And the first thing is you have to find the academic advisor who could accept you. Then you will go to the procedure of the next scholarship selection to check that you meet the requirements. And yeah, recommendation letter, it's not about the number, I think. So please follow the guidance and the Please follow the requirements of the procedure. Okay, does Mr. Implant Science is in English. Uh, we do offer the international course for the master's degree for the agriculture field. So it's it's it contains the plant science, I think. And hello, I want to apply computer science. Is it available under GLAD? Under GLAD? Yes, in Japanese. Yes. And our undergrad students requires to know Japanese. Yes, we do require it. Uh, we do ask, I mean, it's necessary to follow the contents of the class. Is there masters in anime? <laughs> if you want to continue in English class for master program, should I require EJU or JLPT? Uh, in in English class for the master course, then it doesn't require. It's not a requirement. Mm. Yeah, but you can you can take Japanese course if you want, but it's not something that you have to. Okay, and uh, there any forest environmental course offered in this university? Yes, we do. And if yes, in, is this course will be in English or Japanese? And the GLAD in Japanese and the master course, PhD course in English. I'm interested in doing master program. Yes, in mm -hmm. English is available. Lately, is there any specific scholarship for this course? We do not offer the specific scholarship for a specific course. So it's the general uh, occasion for you to get the scholarship. And it, once you get into it, you can you can find the list made you can meet the requirements. Can you please share the link of all courses it's on our website? <laughs> all courses, yes. Hi, we are in education consultant and can 
assist you in getting an admission. Oh, this is different. Hi, I'm from the Philippines. I'm currently studying at the Sister University of TAT. Okay. May I follow up on the short-term exchange opportunity mentioned earlier? Yes. We have a list of the partner universities who can join the exchange program from Philippines. Yes, we do offer the uh, exchange program, but it differs between the Faculty of Engineering and the Faculty of Agriculture. So it depends on which field you're interested in for exchange program, if you can make it specified. Hi, I'm studying mm -hmm. um, Hello. agricultural and biosystems engineering. So I'm still torn if I should go to the Faculty of Engineering or Faculty of Agriculture. Uh, would you please say your major again? Um, agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. So it's about the mix of agriculture yeah. and engineering. Yeah. Okay. From Philippines, uh, we have a partner university who can join their uh, Universe uh, who can join to the exchange program for both uh, engineering and agriculture. So please check with your university first, and what kind of program that you can you can apply. Maybe it depends on the uh, your department and your university make which which program you can apply. So okay, thank you very much. Thank you, and. Do I have to submit my first year university transcript since I am currently doing my first year uh, for transferring or for going to the master degree or anything? If you can specify. Hello. Yes, hello. Next year or the recent uh, information. So, uh, and also we welcome to have some contact through the email and if you're not uh, sure which contact address is uh, appropriate just email and we will uh, forward to the person who is in charge of it so we have a good teamwork inside of the university so please don't worry about it okay so far I think we have almost done and answering your question. And we're so glad so many people are interested in our university. And although the situation is very tough under this pandemic of COVID-19, but we always uh, would like to have the, have the student who is very enthusiastic and very uh, interested in learning in TUAT. So uh, please find your chance and contact us if you're interested in. We always welcome you. And thank you very much, everybody. And thank you, faculty members. And if you're down, just, yeah, this is the, our session, I, I hope. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you. Thank you very much. See you. Is it still recording?